Hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining why Subaru engines suffer from spun bearings. Firstly, I would just like to note that I do not have a physical example on hand so that I can further explain why bearings commonly fail on OEM Subaru engines. Well, let's get started then. The first reason why OEM Subaru engines suffer from spun bearings is that the factory calibration relies too much on the knock control strategy. As the factory tune has too much timing resulting in the knock control strategy in the ECU to reduce the ignition timing to save the engine from damage from detonation. But the side effect of the knock control strategy being deployed fairly frequently is that it puts additional unnecessary load on the bearings causing them to fail fairly early and prematurely as well. Secondly, the size of the bearings also don't help with the spun bearing situation because a smaller bearing would cope with less abuse as compared to an engine with bigger bearings. All things considered, bearing material choice also plays a big role in how much the bearings will withstand before severe engine damage will occur. Although, as we are talking about the factory assembled engine, so that the bearing material would only be suitable with the factory power levels. Lastly, if the car or even the engine had been imported from Japan, the factory calibration on the ECU would be calibrated for the high octane fuel found in Japan. So if anyone had bought any sewer from Japan, I would highly suggest getting the ECU recalibrated for use in the country you are in. And this also helps prolong the bearing life. It would also be best to reconfigure the timing to safeguard from frequent knock as well as the knock control strategy. In conclusion, I am not saying that Subaru engines are not reliable by any means. What I am getting at is that they are could be a lot of room for improvement in terms of reliability especially if you are wanting to make more power from your EJ or FA series engine. I know I already said lastly a while ago but one more last thing that I would like to mention is that if you guys are planning on developing your engine for competition use then I highly suggest readjusting your bearing clearances to suit as well as running a high quality oil in order to give you that peace of mind in terms of ensuring that your engine will survive during high RPM, high load, and high power use. In contrast, piston to bore clearances and piston ring end gaps also play a big part in giving you your engine the best chance of being reliable. But I will not delve into those topics as our topic for today is solely focused on the engine bearings and in particular the big end or as some know it as the connecting rod bearings. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please do leave a comment, like and subscribe for more. And if you would like to support the channel, links would be down in the description box below. It really means a lot and I will continue to strive and provide you guys with quality content and hopefully in the future with teardown and analysis videos as well.